all right you are welcome again in this video I want us to look at potent rule what is potent rule and how can you make use of it okay now potent rule is the rule we used in differentiation that involves fraction okay a function that involves fraction you make use of quotient rule now let's take this for instance a function y is equal to u all over v or a function y is equal to u of x all over v of x now if you want to differentiate this in respect to s or with respect to x or you want to derive this or you want to find the derivative of y we are going to say dy all over the x or the differentiation is equal to v times du dx minus u dv dx all over v square now when you look at this closely what is trying to say is this when you have a function u all over v and you want to differentiate it you are going to pick your v take it to numerator as you take it up there hold it undifferentiated then pick your u and differentiate it multiply by the v that you brought then keep it then minus you open bracket your u undifferent undifferentiated and then you differentiate v multiply by the u that is not differentiated all over v squared hello yes please hold it in your memory this is how to perform quotient rule dy all over the x is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared okay now let's take an example this question says differentiate y is equal to 2x squared plus 1 all over 3x squared plus 1 we are asked to differentiate this function with respect to x okay now let's go we are going to use 2x squared plus 1 as our u and then 3x squared plus 1 as our v okay now the quotient rule says we are going to have dy dx is equal to our u our v 3x squared plus 1 in bracket multiply by the derivative of u and then our u is what 2x squared plus 1 So the derivative of 2x squared plus 1 will give you what 4x. So this 4x multiply by v. Then minus open bracket our u which is the numerator 2x squared plus 1. Okay? Then multiply by the derivative of v. The derivative of v which is 3x squared plus 1 it will give you 6x 
Okay, so now let's go. We are having dy all over the x is equal to 3x squared plus 1 times 4. Okay, minus open bracket 2x squared plus 1 open bracket 6x. Okay, all over 3x squared plus 1 squared. Okay, now let's go. We are going to have dy dx is equal to let's open the bracket from the first side we're going to have 4x times 3x squared is going to have is going to give us 12x cube then plus 4x times 1 we give us plus 4x then minus open bracket you know we are having two bracket let's uh simplify the inner bracket or let's open the inner bracket first so we're going to use 6x to multiply 2x squared plus 1 so we're going to have 6x multiplied by 2x squared we're going to have 12x cubed and then plus 6x multiplied by 1 it will give us plus 6x and then you know that this is also in bracket let's go all over 3x squared plus 1 raised to power 2. Now we have dy dx is equal to let's finish the bracket. Let's open up the bracket. We're going to have 12s cubed plus 4x. Here let's open this bracket. We're going to have minus times 12s cubed will give us minus 12s cubed. Then minus times plus 6s it will give us minus 6x all over 3x squared plus 1 in bracket squared so as the bracket is open we have 12s cubed plus 4s minus 12s cubed minus 6s so we are having 12s cubed minus 12s cubed it will give us what zero they will be left with 4x minus 6x therefore s minus 6s will give us what minus 2x so therefore we are going to have dy all over the x is equal to minus 2x all over 3x squared plus 1 in bracket squared hello so this is how to use potent rule you get it right okay so the derivative of 2x squared plus 1 all over 3x squared plus 1 is minus 2x all over 3x squared plus 1 in bracket squared all right yes thank you very much for watching please if you are new or you have not subscribed to our channel please do and also turn on the notification by clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload video all right thank you see you next time let's take another topic